Hello everyone, my name is Logan Keister here at Bastyr Gardens on our beautiful Sacred Seeds Trail. I am the assistant gardener here at Bastyr and I also work as an herbalist for my company No Tie Botanica. So yeah, today I'm standing here with this beautiful rose. So this is one of our native roses. This is uh, the Nootka Rose, Latin name Rosa Nootkatensis. So I really love the roses. Um, this year you can tell that they're not really in flower right now, but what we're left with is these beautiful flower, these beautiful rose hips. So this is like the fruit of the rose after the rose has long gone, left this tasty little red fruit. And so these fruits, they are edible and they can be made into tea. And it's really nice because they got a nice sour flavor and like the sour flavors, they're nice and cooling to the body. So when we eat them, it's just like helping to cool things down. And we'll that a lot in the rose uh, plant family plants. So yeah, we hear about um, the rose family has a few different characteristics to it. So you can tell like other things I wrote us. Did you know that apples are roses and uh, raspberries are roses, uh, blackberries are roses. There are lots of different rose plants like our pears are roses. And so one way we can tell our roses is we look at the flower. So here I got this beautiful picture of what this rose will look like during the spring and summer months when it's in full flower. So one thing that we noticed with the rose family, all these little things right here, all around, boop, 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 those are the stamens. So those are the male parts and they contain all the pollen. And then you'd also find the stigma, which is the female part in the middle. So they call a rose a perfect flower because it's hermaphroditic. It has both male and female parts. And in botany, we call that a perfect flower. So it's self, it's self fertile. These stamens can actually pollinate itself and create the next perogeny that comes all from its own DNA. And then we also notice a lot of the rose family will have five petals. One, two, three, four, five. That's another good way to tell a rose family. So if you see many stamens, five petals. And then also we can look over here and we see it has pinnately compound leaves basically compound leaf. You can see there are many different leaflets down on this leaf. It kind of comes to point and it's a little serrated on the edges. Yeah, so I really love to eat the rose hips. However, one thing with the rose hips is they got these little hairs in them and if you eat them just like as they are, you eat too many of the roses, like, you know, when they're coming out of you, you kind, you kind of get itchy butt. I'm not gonna lie, you kind of get itchy butt but there are ways that you can process them. You know, there are uh, companies out there who will do it, but for me, I'll just like, I'll usually like cook them down and I'll put them through a filter, you know, like a coffee filter or even like a little letter like cheesecloth or something. And it makes a really nice tea. It's really high in vitamin C. And like I said, it's got that nice sour flavor that just helps cool us down. And that's cool about the rose family is that a lot of those things, like, you know, I was talking about before those berries, you know, the blackberries and the raspberries, like anything that's sour is cooling. So we think of the hot summer months when we're eating lots of berries is helping to cool us down. So that's what's so great about the roses too, is they help to cool us down. They have a, uh, they're also really high in vitamin C and vitamin C is like an antioxidant. So some people are like, what is, don't really get with antioxidant. We just hear they're good for us, but what they do, is they help to scavenge free radicals. So basically what that means is like, imagine you got like, you know, your cell and in that cell, there's like a little fireplace. We call it the mitochondria, but it's like the fire, the powerhouse of the cell that kind of keeps it running and going. And imagine like a little spark falls out of that little fireplace and it just kind of goes around and it's sitting there on the carpet, kind of burning things up and you don't got anything to do with it. It's just, it's sitting there burning. So that's where the antioxidants kind of come in there. It's like a little dust hand come come. Just scoop the spark up, scoop the spark up, scoop the spark up. So when we eat roses, it kind of helps with those kind of free radicals through our system if we're getting exposed to lots of pollution or toxins or just not eating very good food. Antioxidants are really good. So roses are a really good natural way to get those antioxidants and that vitamin C. Another cool thing about the roses and everything in the rose family for that matter is all the parts of the plant are astringent. So by astringent, that means it dries, draws and shrinks swollen tissue. So I'm thinking like, you know, I got a little zit or pimple and it's the day before the big dance that I got to go to the prom. And I'm just like going to be like, all right, I'm going to make like a nice rose tea. You know, I could use the leaves. I could use the stems. Even the flowers are mildly astringent. Um, and then, you know, I could either apply it at tea or, you know, sometimes I'll just even take a leaf, 
I'll just start chewing it up. Oh, huh? make sure it's like a nice, good consistency. Let's say I got like a mosquito bite or a pimple somewhere. Let's take about that little bit and just set it on there and I just let it dry. I know what you're thinking. Ew, that is really gross. That guy just chewed up a leaf and spit it out on his arm. But next time you get stung by a bee and your arm's getting all swollen and mine's looking slightly less swollen, you might be changing your mind and it might not seem so gross. It might seem like an actually good idea, but I'll let you decide that. Yeah, so that's a little bit about the rose. Yeah, I, felt, I hope you found that interesting. Um, say goodbye.